Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a horror film, Metamorphosis. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. In the middle of the night, a priest called Uncle Priest comes to exorcise a young girl who has been possessed by a powerful demon. Uncle Priest seriously declares a prayer to start the exorcism, while the mother of the young girl is also praying sincerely outside the room. The young girl thinks that God has forgotten her, since she greatly suffers from pain. But Uncle Priest holds onto his faith that God will help him to remove the demon from the girl. Suddenly, the mother hears the voice of the young girl asking for help, while saying that Uncle Priest is doing weird things to her. The mother then immediately comes inside to confront Uncle Priest. As Uncle Priest turns his attention towards the mother, the possessed young girl suddenly escapes out of bed. The young girl goes to the window, and releases a sarcastic grin. The young girl then tries to jump out of the window, so Uncle Priest immediately holds her to prevent her from falling. It turns out that the mother is the demon itself, since the demon appears to have the capacity to change appearance. The demon and the possessed young girl then declare that it will go back to the world to tear his family's flesh to pieces, and send his family to hell, where bugs and rats devour their flesh. After that, the possessed young girl bites his hand, causing him to lose grip of her hand. The young girl then falls to the sharp metal gate that pierces her body. In the end, Uncle Priest looks back, but the demon mother is gone. In the next scene, Uncle Priest's brother, called Father for short, is moving towards a new house together with his family. They're moving out of their old house, because of Uncle Priest's involvement in the controversially failed exorcism. Meanwhile, Father's two daughters are arguing whether their Uncle Priest should be blamed for the death of the young girl. The younger daughter nicknamed Daughter insists that Uncle Priest should take the blame, while the older daughter, called Sister, defends Uncle Priest. On the other side, their mother agrees to Daughter. It turns out that Mother hates their involvement in Uncle Priest's religious life, and she resents the fact that they are moving out of their house. Despite their noisy argument, their younger brother, called Baby, is peacefully sleeping. When they finally arrive at their new home, they start moving boxes inside. Baby grabs her favorite chair, and starts running around. Shortly after, Daughter encounters a weird truck in their neighbor's house. Meanwhile, Sister notices Uncle Priest's religious things in the box, so she takes it inside. Mother sees Sister carrying it, so she warns Sister about meeting Uncle Priest. She then tells Sister to hide the religious things in the basement, as she does not like seeing them in their house. Later at night, a weird noise coming from their neighbor wakes up Father and Mother. As they look outside, they see their neighbor doing weird things inside his house. At the same time, it appears that Daughter is experiencing strange things in her sleep. The following day, Mother wakes up happily, and puts their family picture on the wall in a slanted position. Weirdly enough, she now loves their new house despite hating it yesterday. Before leaving for work, Father fixes their family picture. As Father is about to drive away, Baby comes outside to say goodbye to him. After that, Baby calls Uncle Priest to ask when he will come to their new house. It turns out that Uncle Priest decides to resign from being a priest. His fellow priest then comes to comfort him, and suggests for him to do missionary work, so he can forget about the failed exorcism. Meanwhile, mother and sister find a bloody corpse of a cat hanging in their window. Daughter suddenly gets unconscious upon seeing the corpse. Later at night, father comes to visit daughter at the hospital. It appears that daughter only has an ordinary sickness, so they all come home together. When they arrive at their house, father sees baby's favorite chair completely destroyed by the neighbor's truck. He then angrily comes to their neighbor's house to confront the neighbor. As he comes inside the gate, he sees a smelly corpse lying around. The neighbor's yard appears to be like a cemetery. He then knocks inside the house, but no one responds. So he barges inside the house, where he finds dead chickens lying around. The house is so bloody that it seems to be a slaughterhouse. As he looks up, he finds dead chickens and crosses hanging together. The neighbor suddenly appears behind him and startles him. He then tells the neighbor to properly park his truck. The neighbor does not utter a word, and just intently looks at him, so he just leaves out of there. Later at night, the weird noise from the neighbor wakes up the whole family. So a father reports the neighbor to the police. He then shows the photo of the dead cat to the police, as he also blames the neighbor for it. He tells the police officers to inspect the neighbor's house. But when they arrive there, the house is completely clean, and the dead chickens and the crosses are gone. The house appears to be completely normal, so the police officers tell father to just peacefully settle the problem with the neighbor. Meanwhile, Uncle Priest is reading the Bible when the demon suddenly attacks him. The demon takes the form of the young girl that died in the failed exorcism. The demon declares that his guilt from the incident gives the demon more power. As the room gets filled with blood, Uncle Priest suddenly wakes up and finds the room completely normal. It turns out that he is only having a nightmare out of his guilt from the failed exorcism. 
Back to the family's house, a strange movement disturbs daughter's peaceful sleep. Strangely enough, as she surveys the room, father suddenly grabs her hair and stares at her sexy body in a creepy way. Shortly after, father just casually walks out of her room. The following day, the family is about to have breakfast. Daughter intently looks at father, who now appears to be completely normal. Daughter then walks out of the table when she remembers what father did last night. As they start to eat breakfast, mother angrily smashes the food on the table. Shortly after, mother starts eating like a monster, as she chomps the food weirdly. When baby complains about the food, mother gets furious. She then angrily scolds baby, which makes baby cry. Meanwhile, Uncle Priest finally decides to do missionary work. The church official gives him the young girl's necklace. It turns out that the young girl's mother hands it over to the church, and apologizes for blaming Uncle Priest for her daughter's death. Later at night, father comes home, and finds mother completely back to normal. He then confronts her about her behavior during the morning, but it turns out that mother left to meet her friend earlier that morning. Father then decides not to tell her about the weird thing that happened earlier. Soon after, sister is taking a shower, when the daughter suddenly appears in front of her. Daughter declares that she wants to get rid of her whole family. So after taking a shower, sister comes to confront daughter in her room. But daughter tells sister that she is in her room the whole time. Daughter then informs sister about the weird thing father did last night. Suddenly, the demonic father walks inside the room, and grabs a cutter. He then tries to cut them with the cutter, but sister pushes him. As they run outside, he instantly appears in front of them. He grabs sister's hair, and throws her towards the stairs. Shortly after, he grabs a hammer and attempts to smash sister, but daughter arrives to get his attention. Suddenly, the father walks downstairs. In a few moments, father appears to be completely normal as he walks upstairs. He is confused why the two daughters seem to be afraid of him. Baby walks towards them as he wonders about the commotion. Suddenly, mother appears and grabs the hammer. She then tries to smash father with the hammer. Shortly after, she tries to smash daughter's head. Luckily, father is able to protect daughter. After that, mother walks towards their room. Suddenly, another mother who behaves normally, walks upstairs. Father then checks the mother, comes inside the room, and finds her gone. It seems like a demon who can change appearances, came to attack them that night. So the following day, sister calls Uncle Priest to help them fight the demon. Father personally asks Uncle Priest to help his family. However, Uncle Priest appears to retire from being a priest. In his last class as a priest, he shows the footage of him assisting the bishop in an exorcism ritual. He tells his class that those who feel anger and resentment are most likely to be the victim of demons. Meanwhile, the family starts to argue about Uncle Priest again. Father respects his decision, while mother resents his decision not to help them. So at night, mother decides to leave their house, but Uncle Priest suddenly arrives there to help them. She then decides to stay. Uncle Priest proceeds to listen about the strange thing that happened to the family. Uncle Priest then suggests to them that they need to sleep together to prevent the demon from attacking them. After that, Uncle Priest comes to inspect the neighbor's house. He performs a prayer before going inside. When he comes inside, he finds the neighbor's dead body being eaten by the bugs and rats. This represents the threat of the demon to Uncle Priest earlier. It appears that the neighbor gets killed by the shape-shifting demon who uses his wife's appearance. After the neighbor's death, the demon uses his appearance to walk in the world freely. Later, when midnight comes, Baby goes to pee in the bathroom. The demon then uses Baby's appearance and tries to stab Uncle Priest. But the demon stops upon hearing daughter talking in her sleep. The following day, Bishop is conducting a mass in the church in the other country, after the Mass, he receives a call from Uncle Priest asking for help. Uncle Priest then informs the family that the demon is already inside their house. So Bishop will come to perform an exorcism. He also instructs them to put religious things inside their house. Outside, he informs Father that the demon has taken Sister's form. But he tells Father to keep it a secret until Bishop arrives to confront the demon. He then instructs Father to keep an eye on her while he has gone to pick up Bishop from the airport according to Bishop's instruction. But when Uncle Priest arrives at the airport, Bishop says that he never asks for Uncle Priest to pick him up. At this moment, Uncle Priest realizes that the demon manipulates him into leaving the family. So Uncle Priest and Bishop quickly rush towards the family's house. Meanwhile, in the family's house, daughter comes to the basement to get Uncle Priest's religious things. Suddenly, the demonic force pulls her inside the furnace. The furnace's door instantly closes, and the fire starts to light up, which burns daughter inside. Back to Uncle Priest, the demon is preventing them from arriving at the family's house. A group of crows appears to flock towards their car, which distracts Uncle Priest's driving. 
Shortly after as Uncle Priest tries to avoid the crows, their car accidentally falls out of the highway. After their car crashes, they suffer from severe injury, but Uncle Priest tries his best to crawl out of the car. Back at the family's house, there is a person knocking outside, so Sister tries to go outside to open the gate. Father suddenly remembers Uncle Priest's instruction to never let Sister go outside of the house. He then smashes Sister's head to the wall to prevent her from going outside. After that, he tightly ties Sister in the bed, thinking that there is a demon inside her. Later, a bloody Uncle Priest arrives at the house. He informs Father that they need to delay the exorcism because of the car accident. As Bishop cannot perform the exorcism, Father then forces Uncle Priest to perform it. Uncle Priest refuses to perform it because of his guilt from the failed exorcism. In desperation, Father begs for Uncle Priest to exorcise Sister. Uncle Priest finally agrees. Before performing the exorcism, Uncle Priest warns the family that they should never listen when Sister begs for help, since it is the demon that tries to manipulate them. When the exorcism begins, Uncle Priest repeatedly whips Sister, which makes her scream in agony. Then, he instructs Father to hold Sister tightly while he proceeds to whip her. Meanwhile, rescuers finally arrive to rescue Bishop out of the car. They also find Uncle Priest lying around there. It turns out that the Uncle Priest, who is performing the exorcism, is the demon that makes Uncle Priest's appearance to manipulate and hurt the family. Back at the family's house, Mother begs to stop the ritual, as she sees Sister suffering from pain. Father then pushes her back. Shortly after, he hears a demonic voice, telling him that he is a worthless parent. This makes him believe that Mother is the demon. He then starts choking Mother. In response, she smashes Father's head with a jar. In anger, he also smashes her head to the wall, which breaks their family photo. Behind them, the demonic Uncle Priest releases a sarcastic grin, as he enjoys watching the family breaking apart. The demon finally reveals itself by releasing a demonic laugh. At this moment, Father realizes that he is a demon, so Father tries to attack the demon. But the demon just slaps Father's ass towards the wall. When the demon is about to kill Father, the real Uncle Priest finally arrives to perform a prayer. The demon then instantly vanishes in thin air. Suddenly, they hear baby crying in the basement. So they immediately come to the basement. They are in shock as they see daughter's burned body inside the furnace. Suddenly, sister walks down the basement while crying. Father then feels guilty about sister's pain. However, Uncle Priest faces the mirror to her, which causes her face to change, revealing the demon that mimics sister's appearance. He performs a prayer, but the demon just mocks his prayer. The demon then proceeds to choke him. Father gets the holy water and pours it to the demon, making the demon suffer in pain. Uncle Priest takes this chance to finally remove the demon from sister's body, but the demon manipulates him by making him feel guilty. The demon then instantly throws him to the wall. Shortly after, the demon uses its force to smash father to the ceiling. To save father from death, Uncle Priest decides to sacrifice himself. He performs a prayer that will take the demon inside his body. His appearance then slowly changes, as the demon slowly goes inside his body. As he knows that he will eventually get possessed by the demon, he breaks the cross, and begs father to kill him using it. But father is hesitant to kill him. This makes him slowly walk to father, and forces father to stab him with the cross. The demon screams in agony, as the cross pierces through his body. The demon then finally gets out of his body and vanishes in the cross. Meanwhile, father is in tears, upon seeing uncle priest slowly die from the stabbing wounds. As father finally accepts the fact that uncle priest will eventually die, he immediately comes to check on his family and gets a heartwarming family reunion there. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.